Here's another five minute job for you. Changing a coolant thermostat. This time on a Vauxhall Corsa. Here's the new one. It comes with a new seal which is important to use. This is pretty much the same procedure on all cars. So the first step is to locate the thermostat housing. This will normally be mounted to the engine block or head and it will have a large hose coming off it to the radiator. It will normally be held on with a few bolts. In this case three bolts requiring an E8 torque socket to remove. So then the next step is to ensure that the engine is cold and I'd suggest cracking open the radiator or coolant cap to relieve any pressure. Then remove the outlet hose. Normally with water pump pliers if it's a hose clip or a 6 or 7 mil socket if it's held on with a hose clamp. Twist the pipe once the clamp is removed to break it free. Uh, it's a good idea to clean up the inside of the pipe at this point and you're going to get coolant run out uh, underneath the car so catch that in a bowl. Then we'll remove the bolts holding the thermostat housing onto the engine. These shouldn't be super tight so I suggest being more careful than I am here not to damage the bolt heads. So the thermostat is a temperature operated valve designed to control coolant flow typically between the engine block or head to the radiator. It can pretty much only fail in one or two ways, either stuck open or closed. Sometimes it will be intermittent and give you strange readings on the temperature gauge. If it's stuck open, then you're going to get coolant constantly flowing to the radiator, which will mean that the car takes ages to warm up in the winter and it may never get to normal operating temperature even in the summer. In this case, the engine won't be running as at its optimal operating temperature and you might lose some efficiency, but otherwise it's not especially dangerous for the engine. If the thermostat gets stuck closed, then you're not going to get any coolant flow to the radiator, which is much worse for your engine, and could cause it to overheat, leading to loss of coolant, a head gasket failure, and possibly a warp block or head. Symptoms of a thermostat stuck closed could include seeing a high temperature reading during normal driving, uh, or if you're losing coolant or having other overheating issues. As you see here, once they're loose, the bolts will probably come out with your fingers. I'm trying to keep the radiator hose pointing upward here to avoid losing more coolant than I have now. So now would also be a good time to consider changing your coolant uh, if it needs it. In this case, uh, it was changed only a year ago, so the red colour you see is actually the coolant, not rust. So this is the old thermostat, it's the part which will fail. In theory you can test these by putting them in boiling water and checking to see that they come open. This has a spring in it which keeps the, keeps the plate in here closed against the housing while the engine's cold. Then there's a wax capsule in here which expands as the engine warms up, causing the piston to push the plate up and away from the housing, allowing coolant to flow to the radiator, through the radiator and back to the block. In this case it seems that the valve is stuck open, so there's always coolant flowing to the top of the radiator, through the radiator, out the bottom and back to the block, which will cause the engine to take a long time to heat up and doesn't defrost in the winter. Before installing the new thermostat you want to clean up the face which the seal sits against so that it will seal properly. Then simply reinstall the new thermostat, install the bolt, tighten and refit the pipe. You'll then want to check the coolant level and top it up to the marks on the reservoir. Then once you've driven the car for a bit you want to have another look and check for any leaks. Thanks for watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you'd like to see more videos like this then like and subscribe.